Once again, hello and good evening, and welcome to Bird Bash 2023. Our program is about to begin. We ask that you please stop your conversations at your tables until the end of your program, or you will be sent to the principal's office. Oh, please wow. welcome back to the stage your MCs for this evening, a board member and a man who's the executive director of CDX, Dave Kaiser, and also principal, Sheree Jackson. Thank you, Rusty. And hello once again, everyone. And it's now time to get this program rolling. And we have some virtual guests joining us now, people that might be watching from anywhere. We're so happy you can join us. And again, we've got a 10 up here for the 10th Bird Bash, a 20 for 20 years of seven dreams. Everyone in the room, let's give a big round of applause to those joining us virtually. Get them in on some of the fun that we've been having. I do have a few quick constructions for our guests at home. The chat line is on for you to share comments with each other that are watching virtually. You can ask questions. We have people answering your questions tonight. There's also a link there to donate on the Bird Bash event site, or you may also go to sevendreams.org to the donate page to make a donation, or if you're like me, you can drop a check in the mail. Also, a few quick instructions to those here in the room. Again, the night has been so much fun already. The silent auction, social time, games and activities. How many holes in ones did we get out there? A few golfers out there. We want to tell you about some of the things that are coming up tonight. We're going to learn a little bit more about the big project and the focus of the evening. That is raising money to open wellness centers in the four middle schools to support the well-being of students and the staff. And you're going to hear more about the three parts that make up the project we're raising money for in the video that you're going to see in just a few minutes. But we want to share a little bit right now. With your donations tonight, we'll be funding eight special wellness centers in our middle schools. Each school will have a dedicated space for their staff and a separate space for the students. These will be used as a place to take a short mental break during the day. Shri, now walk us through the three parts of the project that we're raising funds for tonight. All right, thank you, Dave. But first, I just need to say again how honored we are to have all of you here today to, to just celebrate with us how special it is to be a part of Robbinsdale Area Schools. And for our viewers at home or wherever you are, we would like to invite you to enjoy the Robbinsdale experience with Seven Dreams. Now, without further ado, I'll tell you a little bit more about what we want to do today. We want to make sure that our babies, our students have a safe place to go. School is hard enough. School is challenging enough. We want to make sure that they experience and are able to say, man, middle school wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> because we all have some stories. I know I do. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we give them a space. So these are our things that we're thinking of. We have to make sure that our students and our staff can decompress, that they can rejuvenate, that they can get ready for the day ahead, and that it's open throughout the day, not for a punitive agreement, but because there's a space for them to self-regulate, a space for them to find out how they can be productive members of our society. And that can't happen without your help. So, Middle schoolers and look, middle school teachers, myself <laughs> included, we, have, we need a space to process our emotions. And that's, that's so important because our teachers are there to give their very best every day. And our students deserve their very best. In order for that to happen, 
we need to have these wellness centers and they need to be fully funded with competent staff members who can help our children assess what's going on in the world. So, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the first part that we, are, we wanna do. We wanna make sure that our students are excited for learning. In order to make that happen, the space has to be comfortable. It has to be welcoming. And so RMS, we have a welcome-ish space, a wellness-ish space. And so does FAIR, Crystal. And we, it's kind of bare bones. We've kind of taken some other materials and other furniture from other parts of the building. But we want this place to be a harmonious connection of age appropriate sensory items, some of which you have on your tables today. So please make sure you have some hands on experiences for those tactile learners in the room. We want to make sure that the ergonomically correct furniture is there. And we want to make sure that we can help them with learning how to use these tools. Sheree, let me jump in for a second. Speaking of furniture, you've probably all been wondering, what are these unique pieces of furniture on the stage here tonight? Well, I'm going to try it out. This could be dangerous, but we'll give it a try here. These are the wobbly chairs, as you can see. They wobble around, and I want to let you know that Seven Dreams has been working very hard to get in-kind donations as well to make these wellness centers happen and to make the money go as far as possible. So United Health Group has already donated these fantastic wobbly stools on the stage. Let's give them a big hand. Also, iSpace Environments is going to donate some furniture and some help to get these rooms set up. All right. Third, we have some guests and sponsors from Atmosphere Interiors and Han. They're at table number 30 right over there. Please stand up for us. They will make an in-kind donation as well to wellness centers, and we certainly appreciate their support, not only helping with some of the furniture, but also sponsors have a table as well. Thank you so much tonight. Again, another way that's been happening in the background, even before this event, to make sure these wellness centers happen. Sheree, Thank tell you. us about part two as I right. try to get up from the chair here. Part two. <laughs> and he did it. Thank you. Thank you. So um, part two, and we're, we're dreaming big here. We're dreaming big. I already mentioned it a little bit, but these wellness centers, our dream, our goal is to have them staffed full time with welcoming adults who have a love and a caring atmospheric approach to middle school students. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever raised or been around a middle school student. Let me just say, the person who is chosen to staff that wellness center in each one of our middle schools must be a lover of children and someone who can support their social emotional well-being someone who can provide a welcoming environment and someone can, who can help them process their emotions so that's a big dream of ours that we are really looking for and the human capital that that takes is tremendous but I believe that we have people out there and here who can help us reach that goal. Do you believe it? I believe it. All right. All right. Now, I'm, I'm an educator, so that was kind of weak. Do you believe it? All right. I got to have some, 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 some call and response up here. So um, another thing that we want to make sure that is that this human capital is sustainable, that the person or persons who are staffing this are able to continue to do this much needed work. Now, our last big, big dream that we're thinking of is partnering with local community partners to help us bring this full circle. And what does that look like, you may ask? Well, Jackson, let me tell you. So let me tell you what that looks like for Jackson. That looks like artists in residence. That looks like yoga instructors. That looks like music therapists. 
That looks like people who know the strategies to help our children navigate middle school successfully. That looks like you all out here. Any retired people who want to come and help middle schoolers? That looks like you. Anyone who wants to volunteer? That looks like you. And we're going to talk about someone who has given her life's work to volunteer like that. So we'll talk about that in a little while. And we want to make sure that you know that we believe that this can happen, but it can only happen if we work together for all of our babies in Robbinsdale area schools. And we can do it, right, Dave? Certainly we can. can. Do it. All right. Thanks, Sheree. The video is coming up in just a few minutes, and that's going to take you inside the schools, and you're going to see some examples of what these wellness centers look like in some other schools across the country, and a little bit about what the students and some of the businesses in the area think about this as an idea. So great project tonight. You see the passion from the principal, and we want you to give and help out tonight, and here is your next opportunity to do that. Let me introduce our auctioneer, Rusty Cap with Flatable Advancement. For nearly two decades, Rusty has worked as an in-game host for professional sports teams and organizations, including the Minnesota Wild, the Minnesota Twins, and a few teams out of state like those Tampa Bay Rays, and also with U.S. figure skating. Rusty also has a strong connection to education, which he'll tell us a little bit more about tonight. Please join me in welcoming Rusty Cap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, before I get going anymore, man, that was dynamite. Dave, Cherie, round of applause. That was fantastic. Yeah, you didn't. You 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 didn't even fall forward off the off the stage in that chair. You were doing great. I tried to hang in there. Uh, I, I, I'm glad he didn't ask me to do it. Uh, I'm clumsy. <laughs> still a lot of program left, Cherie. Um, so uh, as, as mentioned, yes, yeah, so you might know me with uh, the Minnesota Twins or Minnesota Wild. Team up with their video board, hosting contests, doing interviews, and uh, did radio for the Twins last year as well. Um, for me, though, education it's it's a big part of my life. My my wife is a kindergarten teacher. Um, my mother was a special ed teacher. My brother is special ed teacher. He now teaches special ed teachers, and uh, my best friend is special ed teacher. My sister is an elementary school teacher, and I was telling my wife about this uh, earlier today. She's not in the Robbinsdale district. And uh, I'm telling her about the event. And she says, you got to stop. And I said, no, it's, but it's going to be great. She's going to be like, oh, like a couple hundred people, like 250, maybe 300. She says, just don't. This, the superintendent said it earlier, this is literally the envy of, of other districts. She said, this would never happen in a million years at our school. I love my school, she said, but it wouldn't happen. So. Thank you for everything you're doing here tonight. Thank you for being a part of it. And thank you for coming together now as we try and, and raise some funds for exactly what you were talking about. I know for me as a middle schooler, I was this height. I was about 100 pounds lighter. So that was awesome. Wouldn't have been using one of these chairs. Um, and I can tell you right now, uh, man, I spent a lot of time in my mom's room. She saw emotional beho behavior disorders for years and years. Man alive, if she would have had something like this, the difference could be made. So we're going to make a difference tonight, not just in the kids that are coming through now. But that's generations forward for the difference we're making in kids' lives. So let's come together to, as a community tonight and, and uh, get ready to bid on some really wonderful auction items. Do me a favor right now. Grab your auction numbers. It's going to match up with your – yep, just get practice bidding right now. This isn't a trick. You, you're not buying anything. Okay. I love these teachers in the room. Get a little okay. practice in, right? That's right. You, you at home, uh, we don't have the live auction open. You, if you're interested, call somebody here. You got the phone number, somebody here, just tell them bid, bid a whole lot for me. We got some wonderful items up for bid that we're going to be telling you all about. And uh, let's get together and raise a whole bunch of money. Without further ado, uh, Cherie, Dave, I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's hear about our first item up for bid. All right. I'm using my teacher voice again. I think they're sorting out the numbers. Did you see how many were upside down when they held them up? Yes. As Take a look at it. Yep. Just yes. like that. As the major still working on the right way there. So get those numbers so they're the right side up there. We have got five items. And as mentioned, 
They are in the back of your program, so if you want to read along closely, you can do that. But we'll draw your attention to the screen. Cherie, take us through this first wonderful gift that folks can bid on in just a second. All right. The first gift that people can bid on is called Girl Time Getaways Weekend to a Mystery Destination. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this. We all need time with our friends, our favorite girlfriends, our favorite family members. And what better way to spend this time than with people that we want to be with, right? So I know that I couldn't do this work without having girl time with my girls, my sister friends, my sisters. And I invite you to either gift someone this wonderful opportunity or join in this wonderful opportunity by thinking about how you're going to bid on it. I have so many memories of being with my girls and my sister friends, and we want you all to have that same memory. So this is donated by Girl Time Giveaways. And I want you to know that on the screen here, to my left and to my right, many of you in this room may recognize the faces on the screen because some people in this audience have actually been on a girl time giveaway. Raise your hand if you've been on it. Look at it. That's right. And was it amazing, Leslie? It was amazing. Heather, was it amazing, Dr. Hansen? It was amazing. So we have personal testimonies of people in the room. Yep, somebody said they went last year. So let's get this party started. Hey, yeah, absolutely. I, I just want to let, there's ax throwing. Is you axe throwing. You get to go axe throwing or something else. So you get together to go. This is for four people. And remember, you're with a larger group of women, too. This is a wonderful thing. A uh, big round of applause for Girl Time Getaways and also some friends of the foundation who got this item for us. This went for $2,500 last year. It's worth at least that, if not more. And I was just, I was just told all of their excursions for 2023 are sold out. This is your only opportunity to get one. Uh, and also, uh, husbands, this is this is a deposit. You you get this by this forum, they get to go hang out. I'm moving down the floor on this. Listen right to here. Rusty. Listen. So let's get the bidding going here. Um, let's start it. I like to get people involved in this one. I'm looking for a five hundred dollar bid. Anybody get five hundred on this one? Five hundred. How about a seven and a half? Seven and a half. Seven and a half. About a thousand. One thousand now. How about a twelve fifty? I got a thousand. How about a twelve and a half? Thousand. How about a twelve fifty now? Thousand a bit. Twelve and a half now. How about a fifteen? Twelve and a half. How about a fifteen hundred now? Fifteen. How about a seventeen and a half? Fifteen. Fifteen hundred over here. How about a seventeen fifty? I got fifteen hundred now. How about a seventeen fifty? Fifteen hundred is the bid. Seventeen fifty. Come on, you all can do it. Girl time. Girl visits. Come on. Fifteen hundred is the current bid. Cherie, tell me a little bit more about it. Let them think about it. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more about it. So you get these popular trips. Mm -hmm. And as we said, it's almost so all of the fall excursions are sold out. So it's to a mystery location. It's a wonderful opportunity. Team up. It's for four tickets. Split it up. Fifteen hundred is a bid right now. Look for seventeen and a half. Seventeen fifty now. How about a two? Seventeen fifty. How about a two thousand? I got seventeen fifty up here. Looking for two thousand. Seventeen fifty. How about a two? Seventeen fifty. How about a two? Seventeen fifty. How about a two? Seventeen fifty is the bid right now. Look for two thousand. We know you want to go somewhere with your girls. Mm -hmm. We know you want to do this. I got seventeen fifty now. Looking for two. Listen up. I'm going last call. Yes or no? I've got a bid of seventeen hundred fifty dollars. Will anybody in the room go two grand? Okay, husbands, this would make you a, a just a husband of the year, boyfriend of the year, partner of the year. Last call for two grand. I sold it to you seventeen hundred fifty to bidder number one seventy six. Congratulations. Well, let's move ahead to item number two. Keep the energy going. We have Chef's Dinner for 10 at the Boulevard Kitchen and Bar, donated by Boulevard Kitchen and Bar. This is a great location in Minnetonka. Not only great food, but just a great location to be in. 
upscale exclusive five course chef's dinner handcrafted by the boulevard chef and it does include wine tasting with each course Yummy. Rusty, let's see what we can do here. Let's see about some more wine tasting. Hey, uh, a big thanks to the folks at Boulevard. Round of applause for them. Uh, just wanted to donate this news a great cause. This is, I would say, so all the things we sell, this is among the most popular. Any dining we can do where you get to be dining, taken care of right there. Five course dining experience. Like we said, dinner for 10 people. Think about this. Split this up with some folks at your table or, or just charge the, uh, you know, your friends for it later on. Uh, this is a wonderful thing. This is easily a $2,000 opportunity in front of us right now. Let's get the bids going, though, low. How about a $500? $500 now? $500? It's going to go $1,000. I've got 1000 of them. I got $1,000. How about a $1,500? $1, about a two? I got a fifteen hundred here, two thousand. How about a twenty-five? I got twenty-five hundred now. Twenty-five hundred. How about a three? I got twenty-five. We're looking for three. Three thousand dollar bid. How about a thirty-five? Three thousand. How about a thirty-five now? Three thousand in the back. Looking for thirty-five hundred. Three thousand. How about a thirty-five? The three. food's good. Three thousand. How about thirty-five? I'll take thirty-two fifty. Three thousand. How about thirty-two fifty up front? Thirty-two fifty. How about a thirty-five? Great day, right? Thirty-five night. over to my right. Thirty-five. How about a thirty-seven and a half? Thirty-five hundred right now. Looking for thirty-seven fifty. Great anniversary present. 3,500 is the bid. Looking for 30. Anybody in the room could bid, by the way. It doesn't have to be these couple. 3,500. Looking for 3,750. 35 is my bid right now. 35. How about a 3,750? Last call. Yes or no? I've got a $3,500 bid. Anybody in the room go 3,750? Sold it to you, 3,500 bidder number one, oh, three. Fantastic. Helping those kids out, helping those wellness centers become a reality. Item number three, Principal Jackson, take it away. Item number three, are you ready? Are you ready for item number three? This one, you actually have to get in an airplane to go to. You could drive. Have I piqued your interest? I hope so. To my left or to the right, you see Big Sky Montana Vacation. Montana Vacation, either summer or winter. And it's donated by Carla Rose and Big Sky Condominiums. Give it up, Carla. Where are you, Carla? All right, Carla. Carla's in the house. Thank you, Carla. Let me tell you a little bit about this. This is such a generous donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Rose. It's scenic. It's beautiful. It's Montana, and it's big sky country. So I'm going to let you take it from here. Cherie, I just want you to come over and just announce what like, I'm having for dinner or anything. Yeah, I can just listen to you talk all night. He's having the SpaghettiOs again. Hey, uh, 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 let's give a shout out one more time. Carla Rose, thank you so much for donating this. She had two full terms on the board. A couple of kids that came through uh, Robbinsdale schools as well. Uh, this, and I mean this sincerely, this is one of the most popular items that we are celebrating. Colorado is super popular. And then Montana, even more popular right now. A uh, wonderful opportunity for us. This is a four to $5,000 opportunity right now. You can go in the summer. There's a one week in the summer or there's one week in the winter. I want to give you those dates so you know. It's June 11th through 18th. Uh, this coming up this year in the summer or a year from now, uh, President's Day week, February 18th through the 25th. That's 2024. So again, summer week, 11th through the 18th. There's a loft that sleeps eight on that one with the lakeside unit. Otherwise, if you want to do winter, it uh, condo that sleeps six, and that is February 18th through the 24th. This is an incredible opportunity. Let's get a bunch of bids on it. I'm going to start it low and get us running up. Let's go with a 1,000 to get things going. 1,000, how about a 15? 15, how about a 2? 2, how about a 25? 25, how about a 3? 3,000, how about a 35? 35 now, 35, how about a 4? 35 in the back, how about a 4? 35 is the bid right now, looking for 4. $3,500 is the bid right now, looking for 4. We got up to there quickly. 35. I'll go right to 37.50. Let's get it going. 35 right now. Look at 37 and a half. 3,500. How about a 37 and a half? 3,500 is a bid. Looking for 37.50. Did I mention that it's an hour from Yellowstone National Park? That's a great point. Yeah. So you can get your nature on. You can get your nature on. 
3,500 is the bid. I'm just going to do some walking over here. Just doing a little walking. 3,500 is the bid right now. Looking for 3,750. 3,500 could be summer or winter. We'll do some talking. Beautiful condo at the base of a scenic mountain. Let me set the scene for you. 3,500 is my bid. Looking for 37 and a half. 3,500 to 3,750. 3,500, how about a 37 and a half? I'm going last call. Big sky, big sky, Montana. Yes or no? Right here in front of us. Sneaking in at the last moment. 3750, looking for four. Boy, four would be a nice number to hit on this one, wouldn't it? 3750 is my bid, looking for four. I'll one just hour you. You from Yellowstone you National Park. One Th hour from nature. 3750, how about a four? 3750, looking for four. 3750, how about a four? Deer, Th elk, wild animals. She took your card? Took a card away? She can't baby take a card away. I got 3750, looking for four. Mountains. 3750 is my bid, looking for four. Last call. Yes or no? I've got a bid of 3750. Anybody in the room go for? Sold it to you, $3,750. Peter. Congratulations. Number. Raise that number up, please, so I can see it. 289. Thank you so much. Enjoy either spring or the winter time in Montana. Item number four as Rusty makes his back. Sheree, what do you think? Do we have music fans in the room tonight? Anyone love music out there? All right. Let's name drop a little bit. How about Billy Joel? Any Billy Joel fans? All right. Oh, we got yes. a few there. How about Stevie Nicks? Oh, yes. About the two together for one night. That is what is happening. Two legends stage together makes for one unforgettable evening of music. The night is Friday, November 10th at U.S. Bank. Cherie, I know you have a couple favorite songs from these two. Just remind people of some of the great hits you'll hear that night. Well, I just want to say that November 10th, that's actually my birthday weekend. So if anyone needs a plus well, one, there go. <laughs> shameless plug here for me. <laughs> so I went through my playlist and I thought about how much I love Billy Joel and Stevie Nicks. So these were some of my favorite. Uptown Girl. That video was the bomb. Oh, my God. MTV ran that video 24 7. It was so good. Ooh, look, I know I wanted to be an uptown girl. So, the longest time. I'm not a singer, but you all know the, the tune. The longest time. Oh, okay. the longest time. And we didn't start the fire. Y'all remember? Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. All right. Now. I went through my playlist for Stevie Nicks, Gypsy, that was yeah. one of my favorite, Gold Dust Woman, mm -hmm. and the all-time favorite that became a TikTok sensation a few years ago, Dreams. Yeah. That's my, that, oh my, my that's your jam. that song is my jam. I'm a Tusk guy myself, but I like a big band. That's just me. Um, hey, so th you heard it there. This is an incredible night. Uh, November 10th, 7 p.m., U.S. Bank Stadium. Two tickets, great seats, Section 122. You can be right in the corner. Uh, really, really wonderful thing. Uh, th they wanted to stay anonymous, but there's some friends of the foundation who put this together. Round of applause for them. I know some of them are in the room tonight. Any Ted Lasso fans in the room? The TV show, that's one of my favorite lines. Mm, ice cream, right? It's the best. Kind of like seeing Billy Joel in concert. Never disappoints. Yes. So if it's good enough for Ted Lasso, I think it's good enough for you. Uh, a great night. Stevie Nicks, uh, let's get going on this one. Anybody at 500? 500 on this one? 500 about a seven and a half. 750, 750, how about a 1,000? 750, 1,000 right now. 1,000, how about, all right, 1,000 here, how about a 12 and a half? Tw I'm looking, I got 1,000 here, looking for 1,250. 1,250? Yes? 1,250, 1,250, how about a 15? 1,500 over here, 1,500 about a 17 and a half. 1,500 about 1,750. 1,500 about a 1,750. 
1500 how about 1750 1500 billy and steve, billy and stevie together you can't beat that 1500 it's 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 pert near nine o'clock on a saturday and a regular crowd is shuffled in 1500 is the bid right now looking for 17 and a half last call think yes. of all the good music yes or no i got a 1500 dollars bid anybody in the room go 17 and a half Sold it to you. Fifteen hundred dollars. Bid number three seventy-eight. One more item tonight in our live auction, and this one is going to hit close to home. Shree, tell us about this personal friend of so many of us here in the Northwest area. Yes. Okay. If you would look at the screens you will be able to see this wonderful lady who's a public servant and a giver and a personal friend of mine. She is my sorority sister and she is nationally known for her ability to bring comfort through her sweet potato comfort pie. She is with us today. Please stand up, my wonderful sister, Rose McGee. We are going to the video so you can hear from Rose herself. In honor of Juneteenth, CCX News reporter Sarah Tamer spoke with a Golden Valley woman who is on a mission to have tough conversations about race, all over a piece of sweet potato pie. Rose McGee doesn't particularly enjoy cooking. I don't care to cook at all. Even more proof, her pies are made with purpose. I tell people the pie called me, I did not call it. After the 2014 police killing of Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri, McGee set out on a mission. When I was sitting there watching what was happening in Ferguson, I felt compelled to make sweet potato pies and take them down. That's when sweet potato comfort pie began, a way to break barriers and have critical conversations about racism in America and here in Minnesota. When people sit down and they have a piece of pie around these conversations in story circle they are building relationships they are getting to know and understand um, who someone is that may have been perceived in their mind as a threat mcgee who lives in golden valley makes the pies every year around martin luther king jr day they're then distributed to the community serving as a catalyst for compassion and civil dialogue. It's very important to be respectful. We may not all think alike. We may not all talk alike, look alike. We're all human beings. We're talking about current events in the light of Juneteenth. It almost seems to me that these pies serve as a reminder of our history while also addressing changes that need to be made. Would you agree with that? Totally. Totally. There's hope there. And that's what keeps me going is hope. In Golden Valley, Sarah Tamer, CCX News. How good is that? Yeah. So, man, I, I had the privilege of getting to sit at the same table uh, with Rose tonight. Uh, incredible work that you're doing. Thank you so much for this donating. Just so you know what you're going to get with this package. And um, you, you get to bake up to 12 sweet potato comfort pies with Rose McGee, the founder of internationally known Sweet Potato Comfort Pie uh, in her home in Golden Valley. Uh, each of the six people uh, will leave with a couple of pies. Uh, one is for you to keep. The other, and I love this, this is a part of the program, is to be gifted to someone in the community who you would like to caringly honor and recognize. I think we've got a pretty good candidate right there and a whole bunch of other ones in the room. Um, th uh, this, this, is, this is about a $100,000 value right here. I think anybody gives me one hundred k right now Rose, thank you so much for this. I'm, I'm going to do something a little bit different right here. Uh, I usually start at a higher amount and kind of get up by 250s. I'm just going to go up by hundreds. Let's get some things in the room. $100 bid. 100, how about a two? Two, how about a three? Three, how about a four? Four, how about a five? Five, how about a six? I got 500 over here. How about a six? Six, how about a seven? 600, how about a $700 bid? I got 600 in the back. How about seven? She's right here. She's right, right here. I got seven up front. Seven, how about an eight? Seven, how about an eight? 700 in the bid right now. Look for eight. 700, how about an eight? 700. 700 is a bid right now. How about an eight? Seven, I'll take 750, seven and a half. 
You learned to 750, cook. 750, yes. how about eight? The recipes are amazing. Up front. I got 800, Thank how about 850? 800 right now, eight and a half? 800, how about eight and a half? 800 right now, looking for eight and a half? You go eight, you just, you are at 800. You just bid yourself to 850. <laughs> he really wants this. Can I just say, Rose McGee's pies will change your life. You got no changing recipes. You got no chance. He's going up to 10K if I keep sticking over here. <laughs> 850, how about a nine? 850, how about a nine? Last call. My yes or no? My own daughters learned how to bake the sweet potato pies from Rose McGee. My own daughters have mastered her recipe. But you she can't, has you can't, done that. But you can't, there's not, there, you can't get them cooked for you. You're just going to cook them with Rose. 850, how about a nine? Last call. Yes or no? I got an $850 bid. Anybody go 900? Sold it to you. Bidder number two, zero, two. God bless you, lad. Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to take a little break. Uh, I'm going to be coming back in a minute or two uh, to ask you for uh, some donations in our fund to need. Um, thank you so much for all of your bids here in the live auction. I'm going to turn over to our MCs for a couple minutes to get us set up for that. Thanks, Rusty. Rusty will be back. Hey, that's fantastic. We've got some people going to Montana, going to see a great concert. Sweet potato pies. You can't beat that. Thank you so much participating in the live auction and again more opportunities coming up in just a few minutes for you to give and it's all tonight about the wellness centers and helping out those middle school students we all know some we all were some also the teachers and the staff and the time they need in wellness center and what we want to do in just a second here is show you a video any last thoughts Principal Jackson, before we take a look at this video, which really will tell you the message. Just that I want you to think with your minds, but feel with your hearts what we are trying to do for our children. These are our children. And what we pour into them is what we will get out of them. In order for us to pour greatness into them, we need your help. So as you look at the video, Think about how you can help support our students and our staff and our school wellness centers. We can't do this without you, and we want you to give from your heart. Thank you, Dave. Let's now draw your attention to the screens. You're going to hear from staff, students, business people, why this fund to need is so important. Please watch. When you start to look at uh, the amount of stress that people are under to what we see in society right now, we think it's very, very important in today's culture as we shift and we're, we're all making a shift and, and learning how do we deal better with mental health issues. Every day we all have something that, that's affecting us. So, um, you know, we feel it's important to move forward. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, definitely mental health was on the radar of Robinsville area schools. With the pandemic, it became even more accelerated as far as the urgency of it. We're noticing a lot of lingering effects on our students, and they're not as connected to maybe each other or to school or to their community um, like maybe we used to see. It's really important to start focusing on it when you're younger. It's, it's almost like a lifetime lifelong learning type of thing. We're trying to put a focus on it at KFI, and that's why we think it's important to focus on it young, especially with kids in school, to give them the tools to use as they grow older. Uh, our students are coming to us with a lot more anxiety and other mental health needs that they might not be able to get serviced outside of school. So by giving them access to these spaces, we're going to help them perform academically uh, because we're taking care of a need that they have during the day. You know, our students needed a space where they can go to for a few moments if they uh, just needed to relax. Um, and so we felt it was important to create a space, a dedicated space just for those types of reasons. If our students felt that from a mental standpoint that they needed to go somewhere just to relax. We know the benefits of uh, the whole child within education mm -hmm. and how important it is for our kids to have spaces they can go to that are not for discipline to regroup, recenter themselves, and to uh, refocus on the day. And what we need to do in Robinsdale area schools is provide safe spaces and safe places for them 
meaning our whole community of learners and scholars. Definitely, that's one of the exciting things about the Bird Bash will help fund the wellness rooms uh, spaces at all four of our middle schools. Uh, Robbinsdale Middle School, Plymouth Middle School, Sandberg Middle School, and Fair Crystal. Well, the Wellness Center is for our students to, to gather themselves. As we mentioned earlier, it's for all of our students to access those spaces. Uh, those spaces will help for students to recenter themselves. I think it's exciting to think about the possibilities. I would love to see a space, like I said, that's that's neutral, um, that that doesn't double up as another space for discipline or for other things, but that's really just intended to be a wellness space for our students. That's you know essentially kind of judgment free, where students could access it as needed. And a lot of times, kids um, really just need to build the skills to be successful. Um, and sometimes they don't need an adult to be with them every moment that they are struggling. Because there's a lot of kids here who need that space and comfort and to know that, you know, the school really cares about their health and stuff. Because some kids don't really, you know, like telling, expressing their feelings to their teachers because, you know, it's kind of a big step. And I feel like this will help a lot because, you know, just by being in this room and knowing that somebody cares for you, that can help a lot. I know that some of my friends or other students might need something else to help calm them down. Like sometimes to be able to play catch or like bounce a ball at the wall and back is nice. Uh, so for us, because we've already started our space, it nearly doesn't have all the items that it needs to have. We have kind of these, uh, they're called uh, True Balance. Um, and so there's some kind of more like STEM style activities, but you can focus on um, just grounding yourself and moving outside of your own brain to work on an activity. Sometimes in education, we tend to forget about uh, the staff. Uh, similar to students, our staff are stressed, right? Um, so we think if we can uh, duplicate a similar space to this space for our adults, it would be great. I've always thought that education is hard work, meaning, you know, with, with the muscles and it's hard work with the heart. And, you know, the mind and the heart have to be aligned to do this thing that we call teaching. It's not just a profession. It is a calling. Staff make, you know, they say roughly 1,500 uh, decisions a day. And that's mentally taxing. Anyone that um, has to make that many decisions, they're, they're constantly on. And so I think having a space that we can clear our heads um, as adults makes us more present to support and help and to move on to that next thing. We feel that the number one thing is to have a staff member who can be in here uh, so that our kids can utilize this space uh, all day, full day. Yeah, we, I mean, that's one of our aspirations that we definitely would like for someone to be able to supervise that, that space for our students. We know that, um, you know, maybe it's a dream that someone could do that potentially full time someone who has a background in yoga or social work, someone who has a background in counseling, who could really affirm that what our middle schoolers are feeling is okay. We have some phenomenal um, community partners that are already supporting us, particularly with like restorative practices in circles. So I'd love to see those community partners come in and, and help us. But I'd love to see those things happen proactively. And of course, using our community resources, uh, Robin Wellness Center and other community organizations to help us to create a space that is a welcoming place that we know will in turn give Robinsdale area schools and the surrounding communities more positive impact. This is the 10th anniversary of the bird bash and what a wonderful way to be involved in the bird bash with our middle school students it's hard to put into words my appreciation to the seven dreams foundation and and a, a unique opportunity like this that's clearly um, really focused on what students need and and really you know trying to create positive outcomes for our students without you guys we can't make the dreams of our future students happen and creating this space for them is really what we need to do. I just believe so much in what we are doing for the Robinsdale area school community. And that could not be done without the dedication of 
the Bird Bash members and the board of directors. And thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you. And I know that helps me put faces to the need. You see some of the teachers, you see some of the students, you see the rooms. This may not have been something that you knew what it was or how it comes together tonight, but now you see some of the furniture they need, some of the things that the kids will hold on to and use. So now you have a better picture of it. And now is the time when those bidding cards become very important. We're going to send it back over to Rusty, and we're going to make this happen for Robbinsdale Area Middle School. Uh, well, couldn't have said it better myself. Well done, Dave. Um, I think some came up, talked about community partnerships, and, and we see people stepping up already. I guess now is the time where we come together as a community. I'm telling you, like the superintendent said, this kind of thing doesn't happen everywhere. I know it certainly doesn't happen uh, with the, the school that my wife teaches at and, and my kids go to, even though it's a pretty good school. A special thing. Let's come together as a community tonight, and I'll be asking for donations. If you're watching online, you can go to the chat area and click online there uh, to make a donation, or just go to the Seven Dreams uh, Foundation website. Here in the room, I'll be asking for various dollar amounts. And if you're able to make a contribution at a level that's comfortable to you, please raise that bid paddle so we can call you on you and, uh, and make this thing happen for this community. My first dollar I'm moving back down here. I like being on the floor. My first dollar amount, and, and we're getting aggressive. We're, we're, we're getting after it this year. My first dollar amount is going to be 2500 Is anybody in the room right now able to make a $2,500 contribution tonight? Anybody? At, I got a $2,500. I, I got $2,500. Bidder number 595. Five niner fiber at 2500 Thank you. I got another one back here. Bidder number 379. 379 er we just made $5,000 in 10 seconds, people. How about that? Anybody else at $2,500? Anybody else go to that $2,500 amount? Huge round of applause right there. We just made $5,000, and we're just getting started. My next 25, it might be steep for you, okay? Maybe you, maybe you spent a lot of money on pies already tonight, okay? And this is going to be a little <laughs> bit much, that 25. Our next dollar amount is $1,000. Can anybody in the room make a thousand dollars? Oh my God! God bless you. Bidder number one hundred one one zero one. Thank you. Bidder number four forty six. Thank you. Keep clapping for them. Bidder number five ninety six five nine or six. Bidder number two forty one two four one. Anybody else at that thousand right dollar level over here? Bidder number two twenty four two two four. Over here. Hey, we got more over here. Bidder number 593, 593. Thank you so much. Keep clapping for them. That's amazing. Anybody else? It's super fun to raise the paddle at this amount. $1,000 mark. Anybody else that one? Th I got Over another there. one. Bidder number 178. Thank you. 178. Last call at our $1,000 mark. I'm loving this music. Well done back there. Anybody else? Huge round of applause for our donors. At the thousand and twenty five hundred dollar levels, my I, don't put your paddles up quite yet, okay? My my next level is, is going to be at the five hundred dollar mark. We, this is awesome. We got Rocky going. This is fantastic. Um, we've got a match here at our our, our five hundred dollar level. Uh, this is from Liberty uh, Diversified. Um. Uh, I know Diane's husband at Ron, I, I know, worked there for, for many, many years. Um, I, I, I usually summarize what a group like this might say. I want to quote them directly. Uh, Liberty Diversified believes that when kids have access to mental health tools and resources, healthy food, caring adults, grades improve. Kids stay in school, and life after graduation looks brighter and healthier. We're honored to support the work in youth mental health at Robbinsdale Middle School. Huge round of applause for Liberty Diversified. They're matching at the $500 level up to $7,500. Your five hundred dollar donation becomes a thousand. Right here. Where do I got you at five hundred? Here we go. Five hundred. Bidder number two oh two two zero two. Bidder number one fifty two one five two. Bidder number two sixty one two six one. The five hundred dollar level left. has become a thousand with that match. Bidder number two fourteen two one four. Bidder number two sixty seven two six seven. Bidder number three seventy eight three seven eight. Off we got more over here. Bid number 234, 234. Bid number 322, 322. It's and for the babies. It's for the babies. 
Anybody else at this five? We got a, your 500 becomes, you're doubling up. 500 becomes 1,000 here. Last call, yes or no? Huge round of applause for me, the $500 level. And, and a big thanks to Liberty Diversified matching at that level. Uh, our next level, typically we'd go down to $250. If you've been here before, we ain't doing that. 281. I'm looking for $281 donations. This is usually our most popular level, okay? And this is where you get to watch the auctioneer sweat just a little bit if you get them moving around the room. So anybody at that 281, let's get a before and after here, okay? I see these cards going up. Okay, be a lot more sweat here, boy. Really. All right, anybody at 281? Here we go. 281. Right, look at this. 180. Bit number 219. 219. Bit number 228. 228. Bit number 392. 392. Good lord, there's a lot of cards over the air. District Bit number 417. 417. Bit number 400. 400. Bit number 256. 256. Thank you. Bit number 384, 384. Bit number 427, 427. Bit number 431, 431. Bit number 127, 127. That's you. You can put your arm down now. Bit number 325, 325. You can keep donating if you want, so I won't stop you. Bit number 283, 283. Bit number 277, 277. Bit number 278, 278. Bit number 280, 280. Bit number 343, 343. Bit number 411, 411. Bit number 257, 257. Rose McGee, you beautiful woman. Bit number 391, 391. Yay. 281 strong. Bit number 186, 186. Bit number 208, 208. Bit number 169, 169 er Bit number 146, 146. Bit number 293, 293. Anybody else at our 281 donation level? Fantastic. Oh, Lordy. Rusty, you handled that very well. You made it. I made it. Can't sit on one of those chairs. Hey, hey thank you. That's good. That's going to end up somewhere I don't want to see it. Hey, um, by the way, too, I don't know if we reminded you earlier. This is a two-step process. I don't want to remember that, too. This is a two-step process for you to make massive steps for our kids. You put your bid paddle up. Also, you go to your phone that you were bidding on the silent auction. You go right there. You tap on that dollar amount you were able to donate at, and it goes instantly in there and gets set up. You take, this is another time of the night. You can look at that phone. So if you haven't done so yet, grab that phone, that dollar amount that you called out at, whether it was 2500 whether it was 1000 whether it was 281 uh, pump that into your phone right now, and we'll get that recorded immediately. Auctioneer's running out of breath. I got one more, one more dollar amount. One more dollar amount is our final dollar amount. Um, every single dollar makes a difference. Look at just the tiny little things that make a difference in these kids' lives, the fidget spinners and those kind of things. My last dollar amount is the $100 level. Anybody in the room? There we go already. Yeah. Hey, Finish at one hundred dollars. All right, I got a bit of two twenty six, two two six. Thank you. Bit number three ninety three, three nine three. Hit a number two thirty seven, two three seven. Bit number two sixty, two six zero. Bit number two thirty two, two three two. Bit number three sixty four, three six four. Bit number three twenty four, three two four. Bit number three oh five, three zero five. Bit number three fifty one. over here. Three, five, one. Thank you, Cherie. Bit number 271, 271. Bit number 254, 254. Bit number 374, 374. Bit number 397, 397. Bit number 187, 187. They're getting sick of this cadence, of this cadence. Bit number 222, 222. Bit number 356, 356. Bit number 353, 353. Bit number 468, 468. Bit number 320, 320. Hitter number 155, 155. One hundred dollars for our babies. Come on, I know you all have some a hundred dollars in your purses in your pockets right now. Last call, man alive! What a fun to need. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was incredible. 
I, I, I want to give a, a last call out too. Hey, I get it. Some folks don't like to play with the paddle. That's all right. That's all right. You can still make those donations. And again, if you raise that paddle, it's a two-step process. It's just two steps. That's all we ask to make massive steps for our kids and, and their mental health needs here uh, at Robbinsdale Middle Schools. So make sure to enter that in, that dollar amount. And if you didn't want to be a paddle raiser, that's okay. You can do that right now. Lastly, if you're like my friend Dave, he likes to write a check. There are envelopes on your table. If you want to kick it old school and write a check, that is 100% fine. And you can put those checks in there too. And you can also go to Seven Dreams Foundation or online, you can go to the chat. One more round of applause. What a fun to need. Very, very well done. Rusty, outstanding job. Thanks so much. Let's give you a second to catch your breath. I don't know. I've got something here that's been sticking in my coat all night. What could this be? What is it, Dave? What well, happens to say heads or tails winner, $500. Ooh. Did anyone buy some beads tonight from our friend selling? I see some here. We do have, oh, there's still beads to be purchased. This, this would be a great opportunity. <laughs> They're still out selling if you would like some beads. Let's get these beads. Check in with our bead sellers. This is a fun part of each bird bash where we get a chance to have you make some decisions of how long you will stay in the game and hopefully walk home with my envelope here of $500. Last set of beads going out. Rusty, help us on the rules. There are a few things we need to remember about this great game. So it's pretty simple on this one where um, if you purchase beads, you can only have a maximum of three sets of beads. That is it. If you bought more than that, that's great. That's fine. Just give them to somebody else. Okay, you can only have three sets. Rules pretty simple. I've got a uh, Minnesota State quarter in my pocket right now. We're gonna flip it. You're gonna stand up when I ask you to. If you are choosing heads, you will place your hands thusly on your head. If you are choosing tails, you will go to choose tails. Hold that position. We flip it. If you're correct, keep all your beads on. If you're wrong, you gotta lose a set of beads. Once you're out of beads, you are out of the game. Please no cheating or you're going to get sent to the principal's office. No, bad news, bad, bad news. Last call on it. People are getting to the last sets of beads right now. And again, three sets is the max that you're able to have. Three sets is the max you're able to have before we get going with the band here shortly. Don't be shy. You can get three beads. Buy a bead for one of your table mates. Buy a set of beads for someone else. Make a new friend. Offer them some beads. Yeah, you're going to flip? Okay. All right, Dave, let's do it. Everybody have them. Every, people are getting beads. This is awesome. Remember, it's $500 cash is the prize. $500 cash is the prize. $500, that's a lot of money. Buy some beads for a friend or make a new friend and buy them some beads. While people are purchasing the beads, did you want to give us some memories of middle school for you or junior high? <laughs> now you're putting me on the spot. Middle school for me. Fun time, chance to meet lifelong friends. I'm here. But so much changes at that age, as you are very well aware. And I remember middle school just trying to figure out what am I going to do next? Figuring out life. What might I want to do when I get in high school or for a career? But what am I going to do tomorrow? What do I wear tomorrow that makes a good impression at school and keeps me out of trouble, right? Those are yes. things middle schools think about. Wardrobe was so important in middle school. Wardrobe. I grew up I in the area of the era of the penny loafers Ooh. and the polo and the Gloria Vanderbilt jeans. Am I the only one? I yes, grew up in the area of having to wear your brother's hand-me-downs. That hey, too. We got all of our beads sold, I think. Anybody left buying beads? We final sold, last call, yes or no? Okay, if you have some beads, please stand up. Yeah, very good. Thanks, nice, nice. A lot of participation. Last participation. Superintendent, set to go as well. You're ready. All right. 
please uh, check out the heads and the tails. Everybody, please make your decision right now. Remember, a maximum of three beads. Choose heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Heads. You had heads? Don't lose any beads. If you had tails, take a set off. Once you're out, you're done. Here comes round two. Please make your decision. Heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Heads. Heads. Give that beat up. On to round three. Please make your choice. Heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Tails. Doing great. Doing great. Make your decision, please. Heads or tails. Round four. Lock it in. Flip. Heads. Round five. Make your decision. Heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Heads. Heads. Once you're down to your last set of beads, take them off and you're out of beads, you are done. Hey, we're getting down there now. Round six, I think. Make your decision, heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Hey. Round seven. Make your decision, heads or tails, one or the other. Lock it in. Flip. Hey. Heads. We're getting down there. Beads are coming off. Like Mardi Gras at this point. Here we go. Down to just a handful. $500 cash on the line. Make your decision. The superintendent is still in. Make your decision. Heads or tails. Lock it. Flip. Tails. How many are we down to? Raise your hand if you're still in the game. Still got a hand few. Still got some. Not quite yet. Last one. Not last one. We got a few more. Make a decision. Heads or tails. Lock it in. Flip. Heads. <laughs> How many do we have left? How many do we have left? Raise your hand. Let's get you all right up front here, if you don't mind. Would you mind? The heat is on. The heat is on. We'll make on. a little room for you right up front here. All right. Our finalists are up here. Our finalists are up here. All right. Make your decisions, please. Heads or tails. Lock it in. The Elite Eight. Clip. Heads. And down to the final four. March Madness for real. Make your decision, heads or tails. It's strategy. Lock it. Flip. Tails.
Five hundred dollars cash on the line. Make your decision. That's fine. Because what'll happen is that no, no, it's up to you. You go, no, do it. Okay. Sure. It all comes down to this. After 20 years of announcing sport, this is maybe the most exciting moment of play-by-play -play history I've had. Heads, tails, lock it in, flip. Heads. Congratulations, $500. I've, I've run over on my time. I'm going to get out of your way. I'm going to let them close it out. We're going to get to the band here shortly. I just want to say this one more time, and I mean this sincerely. Man, take a look around the room. This, this doesn't happen everywhere, okay? This absolutely does not happen anywhere uh, and everywhere. It doesn't happen at, at my kid's school. Um, pretty damn great thing you guys got going on here. Thanks a lot for letting me be a part of it. Thanks for all you raised tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. Yeah, a big thank you to Rusty for helping us out tonight. What a fantastic night. What a great cause. And you've done it. And it's going to be fun to hear in the coming weeks from Seven Dreams how the night went and what we can move ahead on. Thanks so much to everyone in the room. Also, thanks to those watching us online for helping out tonight. There are envelopes on your tables. If you're feeling that urge to give a little more, you can certainly do that there. Shri, a great night. This will mean a lot for you the teachers, and the students. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We are so happy that you decided to come out tonight. And the way I usually end all of our events at Robbinsdale Middle School is, and it's, it's kind of wonky, and my, my, my colleagues always say, oh, why do you say that? But sincerely, you could have been anywhere else in the world tonight. And this is for you online, too. You could have been anywhere else in the world tonight but you chose to spend the night helping our children and being partners with us in our baby's education. And we appreciate you for that. Thank you so very much. The night is still young though, Cherie. We have the Cardinal Points Band who have snuck in over here to the side. Turn your attention this way, a big hand for helping us out tonight. But before we get to the band, we have some special guests that are gonna come up on the stage and say a thank you from their hearts. Let's give a big hand for Patsy and Diane. They have spent so much time this year and in past years putting this together. Ladies, take it away. So thank you, and I gotta thank Patsy. You know, we've spent so many hours together lately, <laughs> right? I don't even know if your husband knows who you are. He knows who you are. <laughs> yeah, he knows who I am, right? So as co-chairs of the Bird Bash, we're so glad you came together tonight. And thank you to those who joined us online. Thank you for supporting the foundation and Robbinsdale Area School District. We want to also thank everybody who made the night so successful. And we're going to give a special recognition and thanks to Emily Wallace Jackson, who's the executive director of the foundation. Please stand up, Emily. We want to thank you. Thanks for all you do. So going forward after tonight, this is not the end of being able to support Seven Dreams. Anybody who knows me knows that it's kind of my passion. I, everybody, I appreciate all of you who are here and who accepted my invitation and Patsy's invitation or anybody's invitation to be here. Um, but you can continue to support Seven Dreams through our programs, instruments for kids. Uh, staff appreciation happens every year in December and May. We, it's a great way for us to appreciate the staff that belong and support the organization. The orchestra rock concert and the new events, which last year was the inaugural event coming in June, the Bird Dash, not Bird Bash, Bird Dash, right? 5K run. Um, the foundation has room for new board members. 
we really want you to think about the impact that you can make across the whole district by being part of the Seven Dreams Board. And um, so, thank you. Now, you know, sometimes things happen during the event and we have to pivot and go, okay, what are we, how are we gonna do that? And one of the questions that came up is, you know, I really like these Zen gardens that are sitting on our center, our tables, what could we do? And so, yes, you can buy the centerpieces, not the glass vases. We reuse those year after year, but the, the, um, the centerpieces and the, the Zen gardens with the sand, rocks, and rakes, they're available for $20 in honor of our 20th anniversary. So um, you can do that. You, you know, there might be a bidding war at your table. So you just go, how do you do that? You go on to where you went for the silent auction. And you know, we have these birdhouse parties now, this new thing that's happening. Those you can go in and there's now a spot to uh, purchase the, uh, the Zen gardens and you can, $20, you can get it there. And we also have additional bird bash anniversary glasses that are available for $10. So those two spots. And remember, if you wanna keep the party going afterwards, check out the spots that are left in the birdhouse parties. They'll, they're open until they're filled and then that's it. So this is a way to keep the fun going all year long. Well appreciated. So um, Patsy. Thank you. I just quickly want to remind everyone about the empty bowls this Tuesday at, okay, thank you, Terry. Empty bowls this Tuesday at Cooper High School from 5 to 7.30. This, this event supports the food shelves in our area, so that is really important. We have restaurants that donate soup, and it's a nice light meal, and you can buy some bowls that have been made by community members, so please, uh, Keep that in mind, and Seven Dreams is a proud sponsor of that event. Uh, so, Diane, you said this, uh, kind of. Is it true you're, it's your last year of chairing the Bird Bash? Yeah. Wow, Diane has done this for six years. I've only done it for three. Um, but we both said it's time to move on, let someone else step up. We're not gonna go totally away, but we're gonna back way off. So we are looking for you know some people to step up. If you had fun tonight, be part of the fun for Bird Bash number 11. Um, actually, um, We've got special flowers. We just have to take a minute to honor Diane and Patsy. They give their heart and soul to Seven Dreams, to the Bird Bash. Patsy's been involved for 15 years on this foundation. Um, Diane's been on the board for seven years, and they are co-chairs. They just put their, their heart and soul into this event in many hours. And thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there's not much to say after that. Uh, thank you very much. That's my first standing ovation ever. So what a way to go out. What a way to go out, right? Right. Okay. Take it away, Cardinal Points. The bar is open.